What's up, YouTube? Right now, I want to go over the brand new 2023 Sunset Park Sunray 139T. This is a brand new one with the Happy Jack system, the electric lift. So let's come in and check this out. All right, so first and foremost, this thing looks sweet. You know, it pops out on one side, pops down on the other. It has this awesome electric lift inside, the bag awning on the outside with a walkable roof and the solar. Plus, it has these awesome solid steps on it. So that's a few little highlights. Right now, I want to walk around the whole thing, though, and show you everything about it, okay? This thing weighs just under 2,000 pounds at 1980. It's 8 foot wide, 8 foot 6 in height, and 15 and a half feet long, okay? Right in front, it has a two inch ball. We do have electric brakes on this. Comes with a 20 pound propane tank and the manual tongue jack that you can flip around and use the same drill adapter. That's the same size as your four stabilizer jacks all the way around, okay? These stabilizer jacks are made to stabilize the unit, not level it, not lift it off the ground and change a spare tire. But they do put, uh, when they're on the ground, they stabilize the unit and keep us from moving around, especially with some toys in the back. All right, we have the grate up front so we can put a generator up here, or you can see the spare tire underneath, and it fits a bunch of coolers up there as well. We do also have our battery disconnect switch right over here. Furnace exhaust, outside shower with hot and cold water, and this right here is our sink drain. Up top, we have the roof rack up there. That holds 500 pounds. It is a walkable roof, and it does have solar. This little bracket right here is for one of their lipper to go ladders. Uh, those are sold separately, but they are a nice little feature where you can have a telescoping ladder to get up to the roof for easy access. Also right here, you'll see our gutter system on it. So that's a nice little feature as well. Keeps all the uh, debris off the top, and it rolls over to the side and kind of out of the gutter. Just make sure you're not underneath it. Right here are little brackets for their shower box. They do have a shower box available through Sunset Park RV. It attaches right here and you can pull your, sun, uh, your shower curtain out. It is a cool little setup. I do highly recommend checking them out. All right, right here is a dump station. This does have a toilet in it and this does have your gray tanks. So. This is going to be your dump station for the uh, sewer outlet. Had to look there for a sec. Over here is your coaxial cable. Awesome off-road tires with a lift kit and a four inch lift. Right here are your far point lights. Window, this is your fire escape window here. This pops open, you can still keep it open with a screen in there. But if you ever need to get it out, it's quick, easy, kick out access. All right, then we're getting into the back of this beauty. We're just going to show you the ramp door. I'm using one hand, it's easy to lift this thing up and put it in. The handles are easy to twist and use. Boom. I do have a tape measure in my pocket so we'll get you inside length and height and width here in a few minutes. I can never remember it right offhand, so I'd rather just do it while we're doing this. Right above here you can see we're wired for a backup camera. It doesn't come with it but if you want it you can just check out the little model series or type in universal um, RV backup camera and it'll pop right up for that exact mount. There's also a rear um, porch light on there as well. Over here is showing the water heater. Then we go into our fresh water city connection. This is where we're going to fill up our water here when we go off grid and we're going to like, you know, the, even on the throughway. Uh, you pull over on the throughway, you need to fill up water, you need to get the pressurized water from somewhere. So you fill up this water tank and then you go inside, hit your water pump, and that's giving you your pressurized water. This right here is when you're hooking up at a campground or at your house and you already have water and you don't need any more pressure so you do not need to use a water pump inside. 30 amp power cord right in the back. 
comes with a power cord inside. All LED lighting all the way around. All right, and then we're going into the outside propane connection right here. This is right below the outside kitchen. But the outside propane is great if you want like an outside patio heater or if you want an outside grill and you don't want to cook all that the nasty like burgers and anything that's going to get that grease all over the inside of your kitchen. So I've seen a lot of people do the grill here and then right on their beautiful outside kitchen, they just do like the soups and the boiling water, anything that's a little clean. All right, so you do have the two burner stove right here. Sink. As much storage as they could offer in here. Cabinets up top. Nice size fridge with a freezer section in here. This is a 12 volt fridge, runs off battery only. This easily pops right down for us. All right, then we get over, when we close the door, we get over into our 110 outside power, just a standard household outlet. Our solid steps going inside, handle, porch light. Now let's go inside. All right, so when we first walk into this unit, we're going to see right in the front, we have our microwave, a bunch of countertop space, sink, and they put as much storage as they can inside too, knowing that we're gonna have to use it. Down below is just an access panel to get into our wiring and our tanks. Right here is the heater blower, microwave, this is where I store the power cord and all your extra stuff. And there's also a plug for the microwave in there. You can see the fire extinguisher. Over here is a spot for your USB. This actually has a Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth speaker that comes with it. Then right across from the door, you got your toilet slash wardrobe. This is a Venture Series camper, so they do understand that versatility is key here. So they're trying to give you as much as they can, knowing that most people don't use their toilets anyways in this size, and if you do, it's for an emergency purpose only. So they try to give you your toilet and your wardrobe together. Understanding that, hey, you're not always using the wardrobe, but you're not always using the toilet either. So hopefully that will at least give us, again, more versatility and more options for the future all right, so right behind me is a Happy Jack system. The bed is actually tucked right above me, right against the ceiling. So this is an awesome new idea that they just came out with. The whole system is right here. This is our master control panel for the whole camper. Right here is our solar panel controller, thermostat. And this is a main control panel for the whole camper including the water pump with the gas water heater. This is going to be our lights, our tank levels, and then right here is our bed lift control, okay? Now, I wanna go show you this. Right here is our bed. This has a bench on the bottom, which we can bring down. Then a bed right above my head. And over here is going to show you there. the little storage compartment up top where your bunk is almost going to give you like a little shelf and an area for the air conditioner. You'll see more of that in just a second though when I drop this, okay? Right now I do want to offer you the dimensions though so you know exactly what they are. All right, now I'm gonna get some dimensions for us. So the height, the max height in here for our toys is going to be 54 and a half inches. Then if we bring this 
bunk down. And the width is going to be 48 and a half. And the depth Depth is 111 inches. Okay? All right. So now that we got the dimensions on this happy jack and we know exactly what size can fit in here as far as toys go and the garage size goes, I just want to show you the last few things. So right underneath here is going to be our fuse box and our breaker box. And right here is our carbon monoxide detector. Then we have a light. 110 outlet and USBs. The USBs always run off 12 volt in the battery, not just being plugged in and running off your 110 household power. So that's a nice thing to have. You also have your rear porch light back here. But now I want to show you how this cool system works. So first off, I want to make sure that I have these down. So it's a spot for the uh, bench grip put the supports on. Those are your table legs for the bench. And then all we do is push this little button down. Watch our head and watch the magic happen. So what's going to happen first is we're going to come down and drop the bed. But right now the bed stops. Now, what's continuing is the bench is continuing to go down towards the ground. So technically, this thing can either sleep three people, or you can have your bed up top and your bench to sit down below. Or, you could take the bench right out and just have the bed come all the way down. So there's multiple different variations of doing this. But right now, to show the most sleeping in here, we keep it into this format, which has the bunt, the bench, and then the bunk. Right here is the bed. Right inside of the bed, we have our nice little nightstand and our area to store our stuff. So I hope you guys like that 2023 Sunset Park Sunray 139. This is a brand new one, again, with the new Happy Jack system. So it's a little bit different. Um, but it's unique, you know, it's cool and we can actually fit more stuff in that garage space So it is awesome to see hope you guys like the video. Thanks for watching and keep coming back Please subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching